Hey friendly neighbors, coming to you live from my living room in fierce and fabulous New York City. And I'm actually moving Help Wanted to Facebook Live because I love the live energy. So I'm gonna be doing my Help Wanted's here where I answer some of your advice, not just relationship advice questions, but life advice as well. And you can leave your questions for future Help Wanted in the comments below. And you can also email me at Suzanne Colasanti at Gmail. And I think too, later in the summer, we'll do some Help Wanted Lives and I'll announce those beforehand so that we can actually have some Q&A live, which will be cool and maybe do a giveaway with that. So this Help Wanted is about negative energy because I've gotten a bunch of emails from readers who are asking for advice about their friends who are not being supportive, either when they tell their friends about goals they're working towards or good news, success, achievements, their friends are just like, it's this phase. Uh-huh, yeah. Or just like, why are you doing that? Or, oh really, like that all that face? No, like shut it down. You have no time for that ish. So what is up with that and what can you do to reduce the amount of negative energy in your life and inspire positive energy? So instead of answering specific questions, usually I read some questions from readers who've emailed me. I'm just gonna sort of answer these all in general and put this out there in case you are dealing with this issue as well of the toxic negative energy. And if you've read my books, you know that all of my books are about positive energy, infusing positive energy into your life in all aspects of your life, but especially who you choose to surround yourself with. That is a big part of it. So here's the thing with haters. Haters throw shade not because of anything you did specifically or not because of you specifically, but haters throw shade because of their issues not yours. It's kind of like your success or your achievement or even working towards a goal is shining a spotlight on the things that they haven't achieved, that they really want to in their heart, but they just haven't been able to make that happen. Um, and so the first thing I would advise in terms of dealing with haters, and I know it's really hard because when people are hurtful, you're hurt. And it's, it's hard to really not care what people think. I mean, I spent pretty much all of high school trying to not care what people think, and I never achieved that goal. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go in today and not care. And it's like, I really didn't wanna care, but I know that's really hard. But we have to remember that haters are really responding out of their own anger and unresolved issues and things that they're not going to reveal to you. Um, but that they need to face at some point if they're going to be healthy and be nice. I don't know why it's so hard to just be nice for some people. Like some people have to actually give thought to that. Like people are like, well, if you're nice, and it's like, but shouldn't you just be nice anyway? So, because the thing is when you're not nice, right? When you're not putting out positive energy, when you're putting out negative energy, which is always toxic, you're making the world a less awesome place. You're like reducing the amount of awesomeness in the world. Why would you want to do that? So I just think that we have to choose every day. We have to remind ourselves every day to make the world a better place. And we can do that with our words and our thoughts and our actions. Even our thoughts. Because our thoughts inspire our words and our words inspire our actions and our actions are what shape the world. And you have to also keep in mind that every interaction you have with someone, everything you do and say affects the world in profound ways that you don't, you might not even realize right now, but everything is connected. So basically, happy people don't want to hurt others. <laughs> you know, like happy people just, just aren't people I know, the happiest people I know in life aren't people who say, I'm just gonna go out and be hateful and put out a lot of negative energy. The happy people I know are positive people and positive energy is what brings you positive energy back. Putting out positive energy attracts positive energy and that's actually how you end up finding your people. 
and avoiding the haters as much as possible. It's not possible to avoid negative people at certain places, like obviously at school, for example. That'd be really great if we could just say, yeah, I don't really want to interact at all with you or you or you, any of you, <laughs> any of the negative people. I just don't want to interact with any of you. Um, can't do that, but some techniques to sort of reduce the amount of negative energy in your life and increase the amount of positive energy, energy in your life, one of them that I found is helpful is just surrounding yourself with positive people as much as you can. So again, we can't always choose who we're surrounding ourselves with in a lot of situations, but think about surrounding yourself with positive people as building a team. You're building a team of good energy that's gonna help you achieve your goals, which is awesome. The other thing that I found really helpful is letting go of negative people in your life. You might have a friend who you've had since third grade and you're, you've been really good friends this whole time you can't imagine ending that friendship. Um, maybe you were even BFFs at one point. The thing is, people change. Not the heart of them. I think people stay the same intrinsically, but meaning the type of people we are, you know, we're just born this way. Those intrinsic sort of DNA values, those stay the same. Um, we can make changes though. We can choose to be more positive. We can choose to improve our lifestyles with healthier ways of living. We can choose to think before we speak. We can choose the actions, right, that we do every day that, that are shaping our future. Um, so you can choose to surround yourself with positive people and let go of negative people if they're bringing you down. If you're in situations that are making you feel bad, like if you know that you go on a certain social site and you feel bad looking at other people's posts for whatever reason, because you're at a difficult place in your life or it seems like everyone else is so happy and everyone else's life is so perfect, which, you know, obviously people are just posting like the best things, um, the best parts of their life. Nobody posts like, I'm miserable today. Here's me miserable on Facebook. Like, I don't really see that, right? You just see the, most, the happiest things, but that's not reality. People are not happy all the time and that's okay and that's just real. So I think removing yourself from any situation that makes you feel bad, just be like, done. Just be like, taking that out because it's about self-care and it's about taking care of yourself first. So I just feel like if some dumbass thinks they can verbally attack you and make you feel bad, you can be like, oh, hell no. Just shut that down. You have no time for that ish. You have a dream life to create that you can start creating right now with your thoughts and words and actions. And that's the most important thing. So by radiating positive energy, you attract positive energy you minimize negative energy, and that brings you to your people. That reveals who your true people are because your true people are gonna support you and not make you feel bad and not make you feel weird. And your true people are going to love you and support you and you're gonna feel it when you're with them. That is what's up. Until next time, friendly neighbors, thanks for watching. God, I'm so dorky, that's why I do that.